Now, he helped aspiring singers transform into their idols. Don't laugh, it's true. <laughs> and stars in their eyes for more than a decade. But since then, Matthew Kelly <laughs> has been acting on stage. And I was going, oh, should we tell everyone what you're actually laughing at? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've just seen the picture of me and Denise Wells. Oh, look at that woman. I love that woman. She's great. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing a, a, a two-handed play with her, just the two of us. An hour and a half, non-stop. Oh, no, there's a good bit in the middle where we all stop and have an ice cream. That's the good <laughs> bit. <laughs> but it's, uh, we're at uh, Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester. It's great to be back in Manchester because this is where I'm from, from Erms. Yeah, course. you've come home. Come home. Local boy makes good. Oh. But, I mean, for you and Denise, I mean, this is re reuniting you on stage, but I think we've got a clip, actually. Oh, Let's no, show you. have you? Because we've got a clip. This is the you're first time this. you work together. Marvellous. Tell us something about the person that you're going to be. OK, the person is a favourite artist of mine. Now, she's just celebrated her 50th year in the business. Her first record was released in 1949, and it was called Music, Music, Music. And the, the 60s period is the period that she's most famous for. And the song I'm doing is from that particular era. And that's where we're from as well. So tell us who you're going to be tonight, Denise. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Petula Clark. Petula Clark! <laughs> the original Britney Spears tonight. Singing live, Denise Wells is Petula What more could you want? Wasn't that a great show? Wasn't that a brilliant I show? Loved that show? She was so brilliant as Petula Clark as well. She didn't even win. So uh, when was that? That was 25 years ago. Was yeah, it really? 1999. Yeah. So it's been great to be reunited with her. My God, that woman can act. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're doing this play, right? We're doing this uh, Jim Cartwright play. Called The Gap. And, called The Gap, right? And it's about two friends who have not seen each other for 50 years. And they're brought together by a chance phone call. And uh, so they, they reminisce. Something happens after this phone call, and it's rather terrible. <laughs> it makes you laugh. But, and they go back over their entire lives. And we play each other from the 60s right through to present day. And we're actually playing ourselves as teenagers. And, uh, yeah. She doesn't have to do a thing. I'm doing a lot of acting. <laughs> digging so deep. Does that involve what prosthetics and costume changes and makeup, or are Don't you? you wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, just the acting so and a lot the... of makeup in my. No, we we just go back, and it's actually very nostalgic because That's there's lovely, a lot yeah. of music from the '60s, from the '70s, and the '80s. It follows their lives, their their rise. They're two kids who run away from the north to uh, swing in 60s London to make their fortune. And what happens to them and what happens to friendship? The question is, what is The Gap, which is the, the title of the play? Mm -hmm. well, this is written by Jim Carter, who, who wrote Rise of Little Boys, you yeah. know, won many awards. The Gap is, well, it's, it's cultural, it's generational, it's, uh, it's geographical, it's... But the real gap of which they speak, you find out at the end. I'm not going to tell oh. you what it what it actually is, but it does involve a lot of flesh. Oh. No, not a lot of flesh, a little bit of flesh. <laughs> oh. And it's not mine. <laughs> You'll be thrilled to hear. <laughs> is it just the two of you, then, It is stage? just the two of us, yeah. And uh, Hope Mill Theatre in Ancoats is a relatively new theatre. It's only been open for eight years. And Denise has been a patron of it for six years. But it's a cracking space. It's yeah. really... It's intimate. It's, I like intimate spaces. Because you look at the audience at the end of the show in the bar and they look like they've been in a wind tunnel. But <laughs> I, go, I shouldn't really have been in there. What's that? <laughs> I don't want to see all Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf in a tiny <laughs> theatre? And people were like, oh my God. It's, uh, people can get involved and it's a bit like, it's a bit voyeuristic really. And of course, Jim Cartwright is such a wonderful writer. His stuff is a bit like, it's a cross between talking heads and under milk wood for the northwest, yeah. really. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an hour and a half, just it, the two well, of you. I can't imagine what rehearsals have been like. Did you get any work done? <laughs> she's a terror, really. She is. She's a, she's a very funny woman. And we do laugh a lot. The thing is, to take the work seriously, but not yourself. And and Denise Welsh is a woman who knows exactly how to do that. 
Yeah. So she she really puts the work in, and there's been a lot of learning, and it's very scary, and I get scared, you know. Do you? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I, get, I have terrible nerves before do I do anything. Of course, yeah. And how do you manage that? How do I manage to get nerves? It seems no, quite how easy. Do you manage, how do you manage your nerves? <laughs> how do I manage it? Yeah. Um, you have to put up with it, because uh, otherwise you don't pay the rent. That's mainly it. But I, And I think it, they do say it's good for you. I, I wish I didn't have them. Yeah. But I, but I always, I've just come off a, a, a massive tour of uh, noises off, and I get the nerves every night. I think, oh, the main worry is, will you have enough energy mm. to do it? So it's not about the lines or forgetting. Well, there's that. Yes. Yeah. That's and another thing to worry about. I don't want to worry. <laughs> you know. Let's so, give you more things to worry well, about. Well, we've been doing run-throughs. I get to the end of Act One and I think, oh, blimey, there's another act to do yet. I could do with a lie down here. Does anything help with the nerves? Have you discovered any sort of coping strategies? I or... do have rituals. Go on. One of my... oh, all right, here's a weird ritual. I have to splash my face with cold water seven times before I go on stage, right? Why? I've no idea. No it idea. It has to be seven. It has to be seven, yeah. The, the other thing to do with ri rituals is to miss them, is to not do them. So, so that in the, in the moments when you haven't got time to do them, you won't get completely thrown. Isn't that weird? Do you think I'm weird? I think I'm weird. No, I think we've all got those little things. Do you do that? What I do you think... do? Come on. Well, I'd wash my makeup off. <laughs> be, be fun. That's after you don't the need program, that. <laughs> I you don't need do. it. I certainly do. Matthew Kelly, fantastic to have you here. Thank you very uh, much. Lovely. Good luck with the show, uh, Matthew and Denise, in the Gap at the Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester uh, from Friday until the 9th of March.